Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome to the Friday. Bye. Bye. Edith is at home with the kids for the vacation time. Monse is still here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's the Friday Five. We'll run through these. Number one, the quote that I'm pondering, it came from a, a guy named Grant Cardone who wrote the 10X Rule. As long as you are alive, you will either live to accomplish your own goals or dreams or be used as a resource to accomplish somebody else's. So if you have your own goals and dreams, make sure you're living that. Make sure you're working toward those goals and dreams. This book is about massive action, a lot like Tony Robbins talks about, but it's talking about you have to have massive thoughts and massive actions. And a lot of people, when they talk about the 10x rule, which means you're trying to 10 times whatever you're doing, say, you know, why would you do that? Why would you put yourself in a spot as you're making your goals for 2019 that make it very unlikely or very difficult that you're going to make? Yeah, I mean, it's always better to aim high and to miss than to aim low and to hit. So. That's absolutely true. That's a Les Brown quote, and I love it. <laughs> Go ahead and make your big, hairy, audacious goals. You might read about it as a BHAGS, but do it. <laughs> Number two, a witness statement can save your auto case, and that is so true. And I'm thinking about two situations right now. One of them we dealt, dealt with, with this week, but number one is the police come to the scene and they can't make a decision about who was at fault. If you're in that situation, you know that there's going to be a conflict later on. If there's a witness that comes up to you, make sure you, there, you write down their name and their address. And if you can't get that, at least write down the license plate number. Yes. You can also look around and see maybe at a gas station, maybe there's somebody working, maybe there's somebody pumping their gas. Make sure you go over there. If you know you're in this situation, do this. The number two thing is where the police don't even come to the scene, which does happen even sometimes when you're, they're called. In that situation, even if the other person says, yes, I'm at fault, if there's a witness there, go ahead and grab one. It's going to save you a lot of heartache later on. Oh, yeah. So be sure to get your witness statements. With your smartphone nowadays, it should be very it's easy very to do. Easy. <laughs> All right. Number three, the best free places to visit with kids. All right. Yes, there's always great things to do out there with your children during the holidays. You know, um, we have, there's a free entrance on Thursdays for the um some, some museums here in Houston. Um, there's also the $5 movies on Tuesdays. Um, you can also, there's... Um... I know the Houston Zoo sometimes has yes. specials. <laughs> I think that might be September through, through, May, through May, I believe. Yeah, yeah so look for those also. Yeah, there's, um, I think it's the, the first Tuesday of every month. Okay, and so if you click on our list, it'll give you a list of all the places you can do. Number four. Cleaning is no fun, but here are some ways to make it easier. I tell you what, our house was full of trash you know, from, from Christmas and Christmas Eve, and it was great, but there was a lot of cleaning to do. Yeah, I mean, we have a link where that has great cleaning hacks with things that we forget to, to clean during the holidays, like the garbage disposal, the dishwasher, the oven, or something like that. There's also great um, hacks in there. That yeah, we do. and I will say this, that, that if you have a need for like a one-time cleaning, Believe it or not, you can find a cleaning crew that's already been kind of checked out on Amazon. What? Yeah, you can. <laughs> We've used them. They did a great job, and they were affordable, too. So if you have a one-time cleanup, maybe your wife's out of town and you've made a total mess. Uh, that's when I used it. <laughs> yes. Number five, seven questions to help you figure out what you want in 2019. All right, so this is a list is not for kids. It's not something I really would want my kids to read because it has some bad language in it. Um, this is written by Mark Manson. He's had a really interesting life, lived in several countries, traveled around the world. Uh, but he wrote a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F. All right. <laughs> so, but here are some questions he, he does. I'm going to concentrate on one of them. It talks about people always say, oh, what's my purpose? And, and, and Nate, I mean, Natalie's going through that now as she goes off to college. What am I going to do? But something that he mentions that I thought was dead on was the fact that you're not going to know your passion until you try something. A lot of people think, oh, I can't figure out what I'm going to do. My passion is going to lead to this, to lead to X. But really, I think it's backwards. I think you have to take action, try something, and if it's your passion, you'll know at that point. Sure, you can try to pick things that you think you may have a passion for, but you may get involved and find out you have no passion for it at all, or it might be something you thought you would hate that you really like. Yeah, definitely. I think it's very important to just go out there and do and figure out what you like and what you don't. Yeah. So what are you going to do with your time? If you get out of the house, if you had to, you know, a gun to your head and they said you have to go do something, what would it be? 
I know you're talking about going back to school. Yes, definitely. I yeah. need to. <laughs> uh, maybe for me, I need to take a dance class. I don't know, but I need to try something new, and maybe I'll find a passion that I really didn't even realize I had. All right? All right, so that's it for today for the Friday Five. We hope you'll have a great vacation with your family. If you ever need anything, of course, just give us a call anytime. Bye, everybody. Bye.